Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Supreme Cuff Boys, coming to you with a brand new video. Uh, just playing. It's your boy Boone. We out here. We got another Supreme Week to talk about, folks. Uh, I had to shout out my man Cuff Boys because everyone's always telling me I look like him, especially when I don't wear a hat and I swear we don't even look alike. Uh, we just have long hair. Let me know if you guys think we actually do look alike, though. I'm curious what you guys all think. My hair is not what we're supposed to be talking about today, though. Uh, we got the Supreme Ramoa suitcases dropping. A lot of people have been asking me what I think about them, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I think about them. Obviously, that's why I'm making this video. Uh, I'm also going to talk about the price point, whether or not I'm going to be Copying, whether or not you should cop, I guess, um, even though I don't want to tell you that. And yeah, let's just jump into the video. I do apologize if the sound quality is not the best just because I'm back on my old setup, got to charge my other camera, and I don't want to be dropping this video super late at night, even though I'm going to be anyways. You guys know me. All right, so let's just jump in and talk about these suitcases. So there's two different suitcases that are dropping. Well, actually, I should say there's four because there's two different colorways and two different sizes. There's a 45L and an 82L. The 45L is basically the perfect size to carry on a bag. If you guys don't know how airports work you're allowed to bring two bags onto a plane well usually two I think on some airlines one but basically this um, smaller size bag is the perfect size to just bring onto the plane itself um, you don't have to like check it in or anything like that the other bag the 82 L as you could probably guess is the check-in bag it's a bag you could only check in but it's a lot bigger um, the price points are actually pretty similar the smaller one goes for 1600 the bigger one for 1800 I don't know off the top of my head what these suitcases usually retail for so I'm gonna look it up um, after this video I'm gonna guess they're gonna go for about like 11 to 1200 though um, for the smaller one and then like 13 to 14 for the bigger one uh, of course Supreme's got to price point it up a little bit get their check-in but uh, honestly to me I'm not super hyped on these at all some of you guys might absolutely love these me personally they just look like humongous box logos and they're just so like out there and way too loud for me um, I would just kind of feel funny kind of corny going through an airport with this big like rollable Supreme box logo it's just trying so hard um, if they'd gone for something more subtle I would have fallen in love with this bag because I got a super busted suitcase. It is so disgusting. It's old as hell. Like, I so could use a new suitcase. I almost had a reason, but I'm not dropping $1,600 for this box logo. Some of you guys might disagree. I'm sure some people love it. It seems to be pretty hit or miss. For me personally, I don't think I want it for the personal, but I don't know if I'm going to be copying it. Please comment down below if you guys want me to cop this in a live cop. I don't know if I should go for it. I know the resale is going to be real nice on it just because more expensive items tend to resell for more money later on. A good example of this is if you look at last year's Supreme North Face collab, the Leather Nupsies. They retailed at like $900 or something like that. Um, a lot of people didn't cop. A lot of people thought they wouldn't make any money off them and now they're going for double that. It takes money to make money. Shout out to Goo Up one time. Um, I feel like the reason that is is if you're like already willing to pay so much money for an expensive bag, another like three or 400 on top of that usually doesn't make a crazy difference. Um, so if you guys are really looking to get a check and you have enough money to actually cop this for retail, I would definitely tell you to go for it. If you're wondering what size or what colorway to go for. I definitely think the red's gonna go for more money just because like people that got more money usually are a lot more gaudy. They're really out there. If I was to get one myself, I'd probably get a bigger one in the black colorway just because I usually have a backpack when I go to the airport and then just my rollable suitcase and then I'd probably just use that. Um, that'd be a nice setup honestly and I almost want to get one but like no way am I dishing out $1,800 just for a suitcase. Like I so don't need that. If you're looking to resell though, I'd definitely go for the bigger size or the smaller size. It really doesn't matter which one you choose in the red colorway. I'd probably go for the bigger one though in my opinion just because I feel like more people use the rollable stuff and like we'll have a backpack but that's just like my opinion I don't know like I said if you're trying to make a buck I would definitely go for this just because I think they're gonna be selling for a lot I don't know how many they're gonna make but I would not guess it's a ton just because it's a collab and I, I just can't see them making a ton of these suitcases they retail at a high price point so there's probably gonna be smaller inventory um, let me know if I should go for this in a live cop like I said I might do it you guys I might just have to go out and spend a rack just for the folks on my YouTube YouTube. I don't know. We'll see. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinion of this suitcase, whether or not you're going to be copping. If you're copping, I see you out here with the big bucks. If not, I totally understand. I hope I haven't been like constantly touching my hair in this video. I probably have been. I apologize. Uh, it's been your boy Cuff Boys. I'm out. I'm going to be doing a drop list preview tomorrow. I got you all. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Peace.